Welcome to the Stanford Math Tournament 2024 Calculus section, Problem 10. Today we take on a double summation problem, breaking it down step by step using calculus techniques. Bring your paper to write down the solution part by part. For some steps, you'll need to simplify on your own to understand better and improve your problem solving skills. Let's dive in. First, let's look at the given expression. A equals the double summation of 1 fourth raised to the power of m plus n divided by 2n plus 1 times m plus n plus 1. At first glance, this looks daunting, but with some clever transformations, we'll unveil its true nature. Step 1. Rewriting the summation. By factoring and restructuring, we express a as a equals the summation of 8 times 1 half raised to the power of 2m plus 2n plus 2, all divided by 2n plus 1 times 2m plus 2n plus 2. This hints at an integral representation, setting the stage for a more intuitive approach. Step 2. Introducing an integral representation. We recall a fundamental result from calculus. The integral of x to the power of k is x raised to the power of k plus 1, divided by k plus 1. Using this, we reformulate our summation into an integral-based approach, rewriting a as a equals 8 times the integral from 0 to 1 half of the sum of x raised to the power of 2m multiplied by the sum of x raised to the power of 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1, all with respect to x. Now a powerful series expansion will come into play. Step 3. Using the arctan series expansion, we recognize the well-known formula for the inverse hyperbolic tangent function, or arctan arctan of x equals the summation of x raised to the power of 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 1. By substituting this into our integral, our expression simplifies significantly. Step 4. Evaluating the integral. Now, our integral takes on a new form. a equals 8 times the integral from 0 to 1 half of arctan of x divided by 1 minus x squared with respect to x. And here's where calculus shines we differentiate arctan of x, which reveals the derivative of arctan of x is 1 divided by 1 minus x squared. With this key insight, we can now evaluate the integral efficiently. Step 5. Substituting and solving. Rewriting our expression, we find a equals 4 times the square of arctan of x, evaluated from 0 to 1 half. Plugging in the limits, we uncover the final result a equals the square of the natural logarithm of 1 plus x divided by 1 minus x, evaluated from 0 to 1 half, which ultimately simplifies to a equals the square of the natural logarithm of 3. Final answer, natural log of 3 squared. And there you have it, the solution to this challenging problem. This problem beautifully demonstrates how summations, integrals, and series expansions intertwine leading us to a satisfying and elegant result. I've solved and published all SUMAC 2022-2023 solutions, something never done before. Whether you're preparing for advanced math programs or competitions, I offer personalized classes to take your skills to the next level. Reach out now to book your spot.